Libyan troops and militia have been fighting with so-called Islamic State fighters in Sirt since Friday. The Libyan government and the multitude of different militia in the country may have their differences, but they are united on the threat that the IS presence in Sirt poses to the whole country. Announcing his government's request to Washington for U.S. airstrikes in a national address, Libya's prime minister said the extremist group had suffered significant losses, although he didn't provide details. The city of Sirt on Libya's northern coast has seen some fierce fighting between Islamic State militants and forces from the UN-backed Libyan government. Just a few months ago, it was thought there were around 5,000 IS fighters in the city. But the Pentagon says the government's offensive has reduced that number to fewer than a thousand. Even so, there are several areas it still controls, including the university, the main hospital and a strategically important conference centre where it's believed IS is storing weapons. Pentagon officials said an IS tank position and two vehicles were targeted. A spokesman said the strikes would help Libya's government of national accord, the GNA. GNA aligned forces have had success in recapturing territory from ISIL and additional U.S. strikes will continue to target ISIL insert and enable the GNA to make a decisive strategic advance. Western forces have long been worried by IS's presence in Libya given its close proximity to southern Europe. The U.S. strikes will now prompt other countries like the U.K. and France to consider whether they might do the same. For its part, the U.S. says its operations in Libya have no end date at the current time. Ragioma, News at 10.